Hello everybody, this is Jonathan and today I'll be explaining the website that I have to create for my university. So this website is basically a very um, cool space website where it talks about what is the Milky Way and the, and the planets that's in the Milky Way. There are many planets inside of the Milky Way, I think there's like billions but this meant to be like a prototype so I don't need to have like every single planet on the website to describe what they are. But yeah, this is basically the prototype of how it's going to look and how it's going to basically um, be used by the people. So here is the title, it's a H1 tag, um, and then it gives you some paragraph tags and they are to to talk about what the website is at the top, then there's a HR um, line to it, just to separate the introduction from the what is the Milky Way. And as you guys can see, it shows up what is the Milky Way, we can offer across the image and you guys can see that it will just zoom in and zoom out um, if we go out of it. So we go in and it zooms out, we go out then it zooms out. Um, so it zooms in once you go to it then it zooms out. Over here is more paragraph tags which describe what the Milky Way is. Over there is a video. Um, the best part about this video is that if we put this screen smaller then the video will go smaller as you guys can see. This is done so that we will be um, better supported for mobile devices. So I make this one bigger as you guys can see, then it just makes it bigger and there's also a video in it. And you guys can just skip to whatever section you want to go to um, and it, yeah. So this basically is a YouTube video within the actual um, home page which talks about the Milky Way and a quick introduction. If you guys want to learn more about it just click on the about us page and it's basically very simple it just shows up an image of the logo that it shows up what this website is all about. So I'm going to go back to the home page and I will show you guys one of the um, one of the actual demos that I have created for planet earth. So you guys can click on this button it has a very nice um, look to it so when I hover across it it just turns into um, yellow um, this is done to match up with the navigation bar because I want to keep the theme kind of the same. So yeah, majority is the same. So if we click over there as you guys can see, we have multiple planets. We have planet Earth, we've got planet Mars, we've got planet Jupiter, we've got planet Plat Saturn, we've got planet Pluto, we've got planet ne Neptune and we also got planet Uranus. Are we clicking onto planet Earth just to show you guys what it is about? And you guys can hover um, across the actual planet and just zoom out zoom in so you guys can just do this zoom in and you can zoom out uh, the distance from earth to earth is zero kilometers over there just describes what the planet earth is all about and down there is a video about planet earth soil isms a lot you guys can then click back onto this button and this will bake, take you back to the planets of the milky way if you guys don't know what the Milky Way is, you guys can just click away to go back to the home page and you should read what the Milky Way is all about. You guys can click back, you guys can now click onto Planet Mars. And over here, I have put down the distance from Earth to Mars is 303.83 million kilometers, which is quite far away actually from Planet Earth. But you guys can read more about it. There's also a video about it, so you guys can go ahead and watch a video. You guys can skip ahead if you truly wanted to, we can Please. play around a bit. You guys can change your volume if you truly want to do that. You can do whatever you want with this. It's basically the same on YouTube. Um, this is just embedded to it. So I had just copied the code from the YouTube thingy. So if I go to YouTube, right, and I, if I click onto the um, share button, and then if I click onto embedded, you guys can just copy this. And this will just allow you to put it in. But I just changed the width to being 100%. So that way it has better support for mobile. Now click over there. Um, and now you guys can click on many more planets and they just keep zooming in and they keep zooming out once you hover, hover away from it. Um, so yeah, it's basically the same for the other planets. Um, if you guys click on to contact us, over there shows up a simple form. Um, so you guys can go fill in this form. This is an entry form. So you guys can just put down my name. So for example, I can put down my amazing name, Jonathan, and I can put down my surname. Now I can put down my password, I mean my last, well, the email address, yeah, not my password, but it's just my email address. Um, and now you guys can put down a message you want over here. So for example, we can do all this, um, all this gibberish. Once you finish typing down your um, paragraph, which is 
going to be sent by clicking onto the submit button down over here and that should drop a pop-up message and this pop-up message says that the message has been sent to us we may contact you back soon so this does include like very simple um, JavaScript code which has one line of code to it so yeah I'm going to go over for code right now so that will give you a better understanding um, so over here is basically the um, the code to the actual website so this is the index page it shows up a h1 tags it shows up a ph tag which means paragraph hr is basically line as you guys saw we also have zoom as a div class so if i go to styles as you guys can see um where is it zoom. here is zoom hover we also got the um i think that's the only one really zoom hover so this will basically do do some form of animation to make it zoom in um once I hover across it, as you guys can see, um, which I did customize this a lot, and it works pretty well in my honest opinion. Um, MS transform, WebKit transform, and all that. Um, so you guys can play around with this if you truly wanted to, just to see what all this animations is about on the um, styles. I um, also did some customizations for nav, so anything within for nav tag will have this customization to it. But for nav bar is at the very top because it's um. You know is the, what you're going to see um at the top of websites all the time so for example if i visit bbc.com then the navigation bar will be at the top is the majority of the websites just like that so i decided to put it at the very top because um it's easier to access the navigation bar and especially for impaired people um there's also images which has a border to it there's also iframe which 100 percent width which will take up the entire screen and no matter what the size of the screen is it will still take up the same amount we also got the body tag which is basically what the font is going to be which i have chosen to use nato nato sans mono so this is mono space um font we also got the color of the font we also got a background color which is black to make it more like like uh, more like space because space is black so that's why i chose the background color to be black um, also, I think it's much more readable in the dark because uh, many people prefer dark mode. So I just thought that it would be cool to have black mode to it automatically, um, which is very nice. Um, so all this is basically um, distance from Earth, which is that small box, as you guys have saw, um, which tells you where Earth is from Earth, which it just shows up zero kilometers. It's basically the same format as the navigation bar without any additional stuff to it. So it only shows up the box as well as some um, some information within it. Um, padding, we've got margin. So there's quite a lot. We also customized the button, as you guys can have saw. So yeah, we did that. We also did the button hover. Um, container, which is actually part of the um, planets in the Milky Way. As you guys can see, there's a container, which allows it to have that sort of um, that shot off um, look to it. So over here we got the div tags within it, then we got image, then we got the um, the paragraph tag. So this is all within the container. So if I have a look at the other page, what this container does is it allows the text to go along with the image. So if you zoom in, then it should also um, make the text bigger as well. As you guys can see. But also, if you can't read the text because of the content below is making it read unreadable, then you guys need to hover across it, and it just should just show up um, what this planet is. So, for example, if I go to planet Earth, as you guys can see, we have that black box with white text that tells you what planet it is. So this works for Firefox, but I don't know if it works for every browser, but this works for me. Um, so yeah, that's basically it really for this one for those containers. Um, if I look at planet, um, at planet Earth, it's basically the same for planet Mars as well, so I'm not going to go through that. As you guys can see, we have the image tag at the very top, which shows up what the planet, the planet Earth, and we also got zoom as well, so yeah, that is all looking good. We also have the width and the height, but the reason why I have added width and the height over there, not in the styles, because each um, image has different size to it, and depending on the image size, it may cause problems. Um, when you're trying to see it, for example, it's being too um, tall or it's being too fat you know, or something like that. It needs to have like a normal um, width and height to it. Um, so we also have like an other div tag, 
which is basically distance from earth as I've explained this is to make the box there's also my paragraph tags um, which is just a paragraph um, HG tags video of the planet earth so this is a YouTube video then we have um, very end paragraph tag which says thanks for reading about planet earth we have many more planets for you to check out then you just click on the button below and it just should just take you to the web page about the planets in the Milky Way we also have a contact page which is um, a very simple actually you just so have created a form and that form has a label which is first name then we've got a label type text um, input so input allows you to enter characters into the um, into the text area basically so we can so we should be able to write down my first name then we've got a label for last name then we've got input allows you to input your last name then we've got other input for the email so this allows you to put input with email required um, this includes like PHP stuff which I didn't use because I'm kind of new to PHP so yeah but over here we have text area as well which is basically this big box that allows you to send any message you want so you guys can ask anything you want and it doesn't have any characters limit to it um, so yeah at the very end we have thanks for filling out this form uh, press the button below to send us the form we also have over here is button on click pop up finish for finish for form marked then we have submit so now if i go into the javascript file folder javascript.js it only has like one code in it so we have function pop up message finish for form worked so over here we have alert so this shows up a pop up message basically when you click onto the um onto the button so function pop-up message and we have alert which basically means to show up a warning to the to the person as a pop-up and that's basically it really this is a very simple javascript file nothing special nothing great but it does the job so um well guys can also visit the about us.html and all it does is just shows a bunch of paragraph tags it does have all the same styles as any other pages for example for our navigation bar but all it really is just telling what this website is all, all about it doesn't have all the special features to it like the contact.html does have um, so yeah this is a web page that does talk about what this company is all about and what their goal is in this website um, I think that's basically it really we also got assets and over there I've got images so you guys can see which I have used for this website just to make things look nicer um, but yeah, looks pretty nice. Um, thanks so much for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Bye bye.